Today's video is sponsored by Ubisoft and their new title, Immortals Phoenix Rising, available December 3rd of this year on Google Stadia, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and of course, PC. So a couple of days ago, I got a cool opportunity to sit down and play Immortals Phoenix Rising, which is really a surprise for me because I initially heard nothing about this game up until this point. When I finally saw a gameplay trailer for it, I immediately thought that this game had come out a while ago. Turns out, I was dead wrong. This game was announced earlier this year, and after spending four hours with it, I can attest that from what I experienced, this is a huge game that's focusing heavily on puzzle solving, level progression, and it has a really unique art style that should not be downplayed. This game is based and founded in what we all know to be Greek mythology. You've got Typhon, who is our antagonist, Zeus, who is our party boy. I kind of want to say he's an anti-hero in a way. Zeus is just Zeus. He's the life of the party that is Greek mythology, and it's very evident with his charm and nonchalant approach to most things in this game. And then there's Prometheus, who's chained up to the mountains on high and ends up being our narrator for the game. Now, the tone of this game is very goofy and very fun. It's not meant to be taken so seriously as other titles based in Greek mythology are. Zeus claims that Typhon must be stopped and Prometheus encourages him that the humans will step up to save the day. Who's that person? Enter Phoenix. Now, the default avatar and advertising for Immortals Phoenix Rising is focused around a red-headed female, but you have tons of options to choose from to make your own character. I tried to make a really cool wrestler look, and to my surprise, they actually have that really cool biker beard that I knew I had to put on Phoenix. Looking pretty good, my dude. Phoenix is charming, fast, ambitious, and confident about who they are and the choices that they make. Motivated to find their brother, Phoenix is catapulted into the pantheons of power, immediately going into an adventure where they must find ancient hero relics, which by within the opening hours of the game, you will have almost all of the main tools you need to play and explore until your heart's content. Out the gate, Immortals Phoenix Rising heavily emphasizes that this open world environment is meant to be explored to pieces. Once you've done a few mandatory quests, there's literal puzzles just sitting out there in the open, waiting to be discovered. There are dozens of small vaults in which you must use your tools to either platform or carefully solve puzzles ranging from alternating the status of the vault itself, to dragging and dropping objects on buttons, to even using godly powers to manipulate controlling objects. The best part is that, in my opinion, aside from these vaults, you'll more often than not just simply run into an open world puzzle you can just solve right then and there almost every time with the right tools on your person or if you even have the observation skills to figure it out. And solving said puzzles either unlocks progression items for your character or new axes, swords, helmets, or body armor. Now my immediate thought was that I hope there's an option to customize the way I look without the negative effects of wearing old or outdated armor and sure enough there was. The game allows you to play exactly the way that you want to play and it's super refreshing. Some of the games do do this but it's usually at the cost of some type of in-game currency or micro transaction, but that's not the case with Immortals Phoenix Rising. The controls and gameplay are pretty straightforward. In the introductions that I received, I got the vibe that this game is very easy to play, but very fun to master. With regards to combat, Phoenix gets a light sword and a heavy axe, both used for very different situations, but are assigned to individual buttons, meaning you can combo with these weapons on the fly. The nice thing is that the weapons and armor are not based on stats. Stats are scaled to you depending on how you level up Phoenix yourself. The weapons and armor have specific bonuses that you can mix and match with the styles of your choice. Phoenix has a parry and a dodge mixed in with all the combos you can pull off while having to fight undead soldiers, Medusa type creatures, and of course, Cyclops. Cy Cyclopses? Cyclopsy? Cy Cyclopi? Cyclops. There are various progression items in the game, like Zeus's lightning bolts or ambrosia, that are all built out to improve your god powers, hit points, ability to carry items, and so much more. I really like the progression system within the game. They paint the image that you were on this mountain of the gods, where the gods themselves used to train and create the world that you're in. And once you've restored the wings you get in the beginning of the game, you'll gain access to a double jump and even the ability to glide. And it's 
it's at that moment that the game only opens up for you. I said to myself, I really wish I could have seen what late game combat and skills would look like, and then Ubisoft just let me experience that on the fly. I glided all over the place, fighting random monsters that scaled to my high level, so the challenge was always there. I got to solve really cool, complicated puzzles, including one with my bow and arrow, where I had to take control of the arrow specifically and navigate a very specific path. I got to capture and have as my mount a Pegasus and a unicorn that I can summon at any given moment. The long and short of it is that Immortals Phoenix Rising has a gigantic, robust world waiting to be explored. And it's clear through power and progression that you can have the experience that you want. And the last thing I really didn't talk about, but I want to give a shout out to is the art style. From what I experienced, I think what I loved most about this game is the art style. It's not very familiar to me personally. Yeah, you can for sure draw comparisons to other titles, but the entire time I was playing Immortals Phoenix Rising, I was genuinely entertained by the art style almost the entire time. So that's my first impression of Immortals Phoenix Rising. I know I could go deep and show you guys more gameplay and more things, but if you want to see more, let me know. For those of you who cannot wait to experience it, you can actually play right now Immortals Phoenix Rising via a demo available on Google Stadia. To get started, click the link in the box down below or copy the link on screen right now. Thank you again to Ubisoft for sponsoring today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you all next time.